When it comes to pressure washers, there's a huge difference in cost. So the question is, are you just paying for a better name brand or are you paying for a better pressure washer? We have a bunch of different brands to test today, so let's get the testing underway and let's find out. In the first test, we'll measure noise and electric motor performance. Then we'll measure gallons per minute and pressure. We'll compare how quickly the pressure washers apply and remove car wash detergent. Then we'll compare performance on cleaning wood. Finally, we'll test the durability of the spray guns. At a price of only $79 is this Sun Joe pressure washer. 11 amps, 1600 PSI max. We're gonna test that. All the pressure washers being tested are rated between 1500 and 2000 PSI. 1.45 GPM max, we're gonna test that too. According to the fine print on the back, 1.1 gallon per minute rated flow under typical load. Lightweight and portable, only 13 pounds. We're going to test that. 20 feet of high pressure hose. Two year warranty. Instant start squeeze trigger and 35 foot GFCI protected power cord. The Sunjo is made in China. Following the alignment grooves at the top of the machine body, slide the handle into position from the front to the back. Secure the handle using a Phillips head screwdriver and the two screws. Slide the cord holder into position. Fit the spray wand assembly into the gun and turn the rotatable end piece of the wand until the two parts are completely locked. Connect the quick connect end of the high pressure hose to the trigger gun. Attach the high pressure hose to the pressure washer. Connect the garden hose adapter to the water inlet of the pressure washer. The side of the Sunjo pressure hose that attaches to the machine uses a standard fitting, but unfortunately, the side that attaches to the pressure wand does not use a standard fitting. So unfortunately, you can't just upgrade just the pressure gun. You actually have to upgrade both the hose and the pressure gun due to this fitting. The Sunjo doesn't use a traditional spray nozzle tip. Instead, it includes an adjustable spray nozzle. The Sunjo with all the accessories weighs right at 12 pounds. In the first test, let's compare pressure washer pump flow, current, and noise level without using a pressure washer spray tip to get our baseline performance. The sound meter and kilowatt device is located 10 feet away from the pressure washer. The kilowatt device on the left will let us know the amps or the amount of electrical current. 5.64 amps and 77 decibels for the Sunjo. Let's see how much water the Sunjo can pump in one minute without a load. I'll tear the weight scale using an identical bucket. A gallon of water weighs 8.34 pounds. So the Sunjo pumped 1.92 gallons without a pressure tip. At only $81 or just $2 more than the Sunjo is this Wind brand. The Wind brand is made in China. 16.5 foot reinforced hose, 36 foot power cord, 13 amp motor and 1.6 gallons per minute. Maximum PSI 2000, rated pressure only 1300. Attach one end of the pressure hose to the spray gun. Attach the other end of the pressure hose to the machine water outlet. Assemble the spray lance onto the spray gun. Twist to lock into position. Just like the Sun Joe, the wind also includes an adjustable spray nozzle. Just like the Sun Joe, the wind also uses a proprietary connector. So in order to upgrade, you'll have to replace both the hose as well as the pressure gun. The wind weighs 17 pounds. The wind is a little bit quieter than the Sun Joe at 73 decibels, 6.3 amps. At 16.4 pounds or 1.97 gallons, the wind did a little bit better than the Sun Joe. At a price of $96 is a Stanley brand, 1600 max PSI, 1.3 max gallon per minute. Detergent bottle, 35 foot power cord with auto reset GFCI. 20 foot soft, flexible, high pressure hose. Two year warranty. The Stanley brand is made in China. Install the handle the power washer unit. Secure with the two screws. Slide spray gun holster on the left side. Slide cord hook holster on the right side. Attach the high pressure hose to the pressure washer. Fit the spray wand assembly into the gun and turn the rotatable end piece of the wand until the two parts are completely locked. Connect the quick connect end of the high pressure hose to the trigger gun. Just like the Sun Joe in the wind, the Stanley also uses a proprietary fitting on the side that connects to the pressure gun. Just like the Sun Joe in the wind, the Stanley also includes an adjustable spray nozzle. The Stanley weighs 15 pounds. The wind and the Stanley make about the same amount of noise at 73 decibels and the same amount of amps at 6.3. 17.6 pounds or 2.11 gallons with the Stanley. At a price of $98 is this works brand. 2000 max PSI, 1.85 max gallons per minute, 13 amp motor, two year warranty on pump and motor. The works include 0, 15, 25, 40 degree and a turbo nozzle. The works is definitely gonna be a lot more difficult to upgrade because both ends of the pressure hose use a proprietary fitting. The design used on the works is different than the quick connect design used on the spray tips. Unfortunately, the works pressure washer that I ordered arrived with several missing tips. So in order to test the works brand, I'm gonna have to substitute and use a different tip, which probably has a higher flow rate. The works weighs 15 pounds. The works is slightly noisier than the wind and the Stanley at 74 decibels. 8.2 amps for the works. 14.6 pounds or 1.75 gallons. At a price of $113 is this Yard Force brand, 1600 PSI, two year warranty, 1.2 gallons per minute. Built in storage compartment for all accessories keeps everything together in a compact design. 13 amps, 20 foot hose length. The electric cord is 35 feet with GFCI. Built in detergent tank makes applying cleaner easier. The Yard Force brand is made in China. Open to back store housing and take out the high pressure hose for assembly. Connect the high pressure hose to the pressure washer. 
Connect the high-pressure hose to the spray gun. Fit the spray wand to the spray gun. The Yard Force comes with a soap, 25 degree, as well as a turbo nozzle. The Yard Force weighs 20 pounds. 8.1 amps and 74 decibels for the Yard Force. Only 13 pounds or 1.56 gallons with the Yard Force. At a price of $149 is this Ryobi brand. 1900 PSI, 1.2 gallons per minute. Onboard detergent for easy soap application. 13 amp motor. 3 year warranty. 25 foot pressure hose. 35 foot electrical cord. Connect the spray wand to the trigger handle. Connect the high pressure hose to the trigger handle. Connect the high pressure hose to the pump. Made in Vietnam. The Ryobi comes with a soap, 15 degree and turbo nozzle. The Ryobi weighs 20 pounds. The Ryobi is by far the loudest at 85 decibels, 7.5 amps. 14.8 pounds, which works out to 1.77 gallons. At a price of $170, is this Karcher brand. 1,700 PSI, 1 1.2 gallons per minute. The world's number one pressure washer brand. We're gonna test that. Three year warranty. The Karcher brand is made in China. 20 foot high pressure hose, 15 inch all purpose nozzle, 35 foot power cord, a foot controlled on and off switch, a quick start guide on the side of the pressure washer. Thread one end of the high pressure hose onto the high pressure outlet on the unit. Thread the other end of the high pressure hose onto the spray gun inlet. Insert the spray wand into the spray gun. Press it against spring tension and twist into the locked position. The cartridge includes a soap, 15 degree, and turbo nozzle. The cartridge weighs 18 pounds. 9.5 amps for the cartridge, which is the highest yet. 77.5 decibels. 15.2 pounds or 1.82 gallons for the cartridge brand. And the most expensive pressure washer that we'll be testing at $225 is this CAT brand. 1,800 PSI. 2 gallons per minute max, 35 foot power cord with GFCI, 2 year warranty, 20 foot high pressure hose, attach a cord bracket to the machine, wrap power cord around the bracket and place GFCI plug inside the bracket, attach the bottle holder to the machine, attach the hose bracket to the machine, secure the hose bracket with a rubber band, attach the high pressure hose to the gun and the pump outlet. The CAT brand is made in China. The CAT brand comes with 4 different spray tips, 0, 15, 25, and 40 degree. The CAT brand weighs 23 pounds, 7 amps and 75.5 decibels for the CAT brand. 23 pounds or 2.76 gallons for the CAT brand. If weight is a factor in your purchasing decision, the Sunjo is the lightest at 12 pounds, Stanley and Works 15, and the Wind weighs 17 pounds. Unfortunately, some of the high pressure hose connectors are proprietary, and the only way I'm able to offer an apples to apples comparison is to measure the PSI directly before the spray nozzle tip. So I have to use the high pressure hose from the Ryobi or the CAT for the first three brands, beginning with the Sunjo. Using the 3.7 gallon per minute tip, the Sunjo is down from 77 to 73 decibels and is right at 8.5 amps. It only took a fraction of the second for the Sun Joe to reach 620 PSI with a 3.7 GPM tip. 11.6 pounds, which works out to 1.39 gallons. Let's switch over to the three gallon per minute spray nozzle tip and try this again. The Sun Joe is definitely working quite a bit harder, 10.1 amps and 71.5 decibels. So going from a 3.7 to a 3.0 GPM spray nozzle tip, the Sun Joe went from 620 to 980 PSI. With the three gallon per minute spray tip, 9.4 pounds or one Point one gallons for the Sun Joe. 10.5 amps or 71 decibels for the wind. Just like the Sunjo, the wind builds pressure very quickly. The wind did quite a bit better than the Sunjo at 700 PSI with a 3.7 GPM spray tip. The wind produced 12.2 pounds of water or 1.46 gallons. With a three gallon per minute spray tip, 12.9 amps and 71.5 decibels. And the wind performed quite a bit better than the Sunjo with a three gallon per minute spray tip at 1,125 PSI compared to only 980 for the Sunjo. The wind also did better than the Sunjo delivering 10.4 4 pounds or 1.25 gallons of water compared to only 1.1 gallons of water for the Sun Joe. 9.7 amps or 70 decibels for the Stanley with a 3.7 GPM spray tip. The water pressure with the Stanley builds very quickly. The Stanley did better than the Sunjo and the wind at 800 PSI with a 3.7 GPM spray tip. 13.2 pounds or 1.58 gallons and the Stanley takes the lead from the wind. The Stanley is at 11.9 amps and 71 decibels with a three gallon per minute spray tip. The Stanley is doing by far the best yet at 1,250 PSI. 11.4 pounds or 1.37 gallons per minute is the best yet. With a 3.7 gallon per minute spray tip, 10.7 amps and 72 decibels for the works. The water pressure with the works builds very fast just like the Stanley in the wind. Very close to 725 PSI. So not quite as good as the Stanley. 12.8 pounds or 1.53 gallons per minute so the Stanley holds on to the lead. With a 3 gallon per minute spray tip, 13 amps is pushing the limit for the works. The works needed over 4 seconds to reach 1200 PSI with a 3.0 spray tip. 11.2 pounds or 1.34 gallons per minute. 
Yard Force is the loudest yet at 75 decibels and 9.85 amps with a 3.7 spray tip. At only 650 PSI, the Yard Force moves into next to last place just ahead of the Sun Joe. 12 pounds or 1.44 gallons per minute. With the 3.0 spray tip, the Yard Force is pretty much maxed out at 12.1 amps. The Yard Force also needed about 2 seconds to reach 975 PSI. 10.8 pounds or 1.29 gallons, so the Stanley holds on to the lead. The Ryobi is the loudest yet at 76.5 decibels and 9.7 amps. It only took about one second for the Ryobi to reach 700 PSI with the 3.7 spray tip. 12.6 pounds or 1.51 gallons. 12 amps for the Ryobi with the 3.0 spray tip. It took about 10 seconds or so, but the Ryobi finally topped out at 1,140 PSI. 11.2 pounds or 1.34 gallons, so the Ryobi is tied with the works for third place. 11.6 amps for the Karcher with a 3.7 spray tip. The Karcher experienced a pretty big pressure drop right after the beginning of the test, but it quickly recovered. 12 pounds or 1.44 gallons per minute. 13.25 amps for the Karcher with a 3.0 pressure tip. After the initial pressure drop, the Karcher needed about 10 seconds to recover and finally reach 1,220 PSI. So 10.6 pounds or 1.27 gallons for the Karcher. Unfortunately, of all the spray washers, activating the spray gun on the Karcher takes by far the most effort due to the design of the pressure washer. Once the trigger is squeezed, the inline pressure drops and then the pump powers up. 12.35 amps for the CAT with a 3.7 spray tip. And the CAT took less than a second to reach 1150 PSI, which is nearly 400 PSI better than the Stanley and the Karcher. 14.8 pounds or 1.77 gallons per minute, very impressive. 14.55 amps is really pushing the limit on the amount of current the circuit breaker can handle. It took less than a second for the CAT to hit 1,625 PSI. 13 pounds, which works out to 1.56 gallons per minute. If you need a pressure washer for low pressure and high water volume applications, the CAT came out on top at 1,150 PSI, Stanley and Karcher second at 800, Works 725, and Win and Ryobi 700. For higher pressure applications, the CAT came out on top at 1,625 PSI, Stanley 1,250, Karcher 1,220, Works 1,200, and Roby 5th at 1,140. Pressure is important, but so is the water flow rate. Some of the pressure washers were slow to build pressure, and this really hurt their 1 minute gallon per minute performance. The CAT came out on top at 1.56 gallons, Stanley 1.37, Works and Ryobi 1.34, and Yard Force 1.29. Total cleaning units provides a measure of unit performance that allows one pressure washer to be compared against another. It's a very simple math formula of pressure times gallon per minute. So for total cleaning units, the CAT came in on top at 2,533, Stanley 1,709, Works 1,612, Karcher 1,551, and Ryobi 1,531. The next test is highly subjective, but it'll provide a decent visual on overall performance. I'll first apply soap using a water cannon. I'm not going to adjust the spray cannon settings, I'm just going to leave it set to the maximum output for all the brands. Because of the adjustable spray nozzle design that's used by the Sunjo, Wynn, and the Stanley, I had to use the pressure washer hose in the Cat Aerobi in order to hook up the foam cannon. It took approximately 25 seconds for the Sunjo to apply the detergent. I'll use a 3.7 gallon per minute spray tip for each pressure washer. It also took about 40 seconds to rinse off the soap. Compared to the Sunjo, the wind delivers more gallons per minute and is 3 seconds faster than the Sunjo at 25 seconds. The wind was also 3 seconds faster than the Sunjo at rinsing the vehicle at 37 seconds. The Stanley delivers even more gallons per minute than the wind and the Sunjo, and it only needed 19 seconds, the fastest time yet, to apply the soap. The Stanley was also quite a bit faster at 30 seconds to rinse the vehicle, which is 7 seconds faster than the wind. The works which doesn't deliver as much water flow as the Stanley took right at 23 seconds. The works took 3 seconds longer than the Stanley to rinse the vehicle for a total of 33 seconds. The Yard Force doesn't produce nearly as much water pressure or water volume compared to some of the other brands and it needed 29 seconds to apply the detergent. The Yard Force also needed longer than average at 36 seconds to remove the detergent. The Ryobi is 3 seconds faster than the Yard Force at 26 seconds. The Ryobi was quite a bit faster than the Yard Force at rinsing at 28 seconds. 
The Karcher delivers more gallons per minute compared to the Ryobi, and it was also two seconds faster at 24. The Karcher needed 28 seconds to rinse off the vehicle. The Cat brand, which delivers the highest water flow rate of all the brands, is the fastest yet at 18 seconds. At only 23 seconds, the Cat is five seconds faster than the other brands at washing off the soap. Adding up the total time it took to both apply and rinse off the soap, the Cat came out on top at 41 seconds, Stanley 49, Karcher 52, Ryobi 54, and Works 56. Definitely not a scientific test. The top five brands that finished in this demonstration also finished in the top five for cleaning units. Let's see how each of the pressure washers perform using their own spray hose and spray nozzles in the next test. I'll set the spray height to 14 inches above the test piece. Since the first three brands use the adjustable spray nozzle tip, I'm gonna adjust the spray width to approximately three inches. The test pieces will pass under the spray nozzle at the same speed. And the Sunjo seems to be removing a small amount of buildup, but unfortunately the adjustable spray nozzle pattern for the Sunjo doesn't seem to be providing an even distribution of water. It seems like most of the water pressure is being concentrated in the very center. Just like the Sunjo, the wind has an adjustable spray nozzle and the spray pattern just isn't very consistent. However, the wind definitely seems to be doing a better job than the Sunjo at removing the buildup. And the Stanley seems to be performing about the same as the wind at removing the buildup. The Works uses a regular pressure tip and it did a much better job at providing an even and consistent spray pattern. The Works seems to be performing better than the Sunjo, but not quite as good as the wind or the Stanley. Just like the Works, the spray nozzle on the Yard Force is providing a very consistent spray pattern, but the Yard Force isn't removing as much buildup as some of the other brands. The Ryobi definitely seems to be removing more buildup than the Yard Force, but not as much as some of the other brands. Just like the Ryobi, the Karcher has a very consistent spray pattern, but doesn't seem to be removing as much buildup. The Cat brand is definitely doing the best job at removing the buildup from the board. I went ahead and ran a second board past the Cat brand just to make sure the results were consistent and it did a very good job. To get a good look at the boards, I allowed the boards to dry for several hours in direct sunlight. And the Cat pressure washer did by far the best job at removing most of the buildup as well as some of the permanent marker stains on both boards. The wind has an adjustable spray nozzle and the spray pattern varied a lot. However, the wind seems to have finished in second place by removing a lot of buildup from a narrow portion of the board. The Stanley performed nearly the same as the wind, removing quite a bit of buildup after just one pass. The Ryobi seems to have finished in fourth place by removing most of the buildup in the permanent marker stain. The Sunjo, Works, Yard Force, and Karcher were all very close to the same. To test durability, I dropped all the spray guns from 36 inches or one meter several times and all the spray guns survived without damage. Accidents happen, so let's see how the pressure gun handles hold up from the weight of a vehicle. No visible damage to the Sunjo brand. No damage to the wind. No damage to the Stanley brand. No damage to the Works brand. The Yard Force held up just fine. Unfortunately, the handle on the Ryobi did crack. There's also some damage on the inner side of the handle. Even though there's minor damage to the Ryobi, it still works just fine. Unfortunately, there's a lot of damage to the Karcher. Both sides of the handle experience quite a bit of cracking. Even though there's a little bit of damage to the handle, it still works just fine. No damage to the cat gun. The cat is the best pressure washer, but it's also very expensive at $225. If you're looking for a very, very affordable pressure washer, I really like the Win for around $80, and that's about all I'd be willing to pay for that unit. I also like the Stanley quite a bit. It did a very good job out competing some of the more expensive brands, but the biggest drawback is the type of spray gun that it uses. It has an adjustable instead of a standard spray tip. All the videos in this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and I look forward to next time.